tomorrow I have a wedding off of Lake Huron, so I gotta get over to Toronto. Also, if you look behind me, my van is absolutely stuffed with the last of Ashley's stuff from her apartment. She moved to Toronto about three, four weeks ago, and uh, she only brought like some of her stuff. So I went in last night and emptied her apartment and loaded it all in the van. Single-handedly, I might add, I'm a very good friend. <sighs> anyway, it's in now. I'm gonna go get Champ. I'm dropping him off with my brother, and uh, I'm head to Toronto. <laughs> I'm really excited because I actually have three weddings in uh, the Toronto-ish area. I'm really excited because I actually have three weddings in the Toronto-ish area. So that means that uh, I'm going to stay down in Toronto for like nine days. And uh, mostly actually in the Toronto area. I've got all kinds of plans including I'm going to take my cousin and his little son out for a camping trip in the van. I'm very excited about that one. That one's going to be good. Anyway, let's hit the road. breakfast at my sister's house because mm, my kitchen has a mattress in it. Champ, come on, let's go. Bye, buddy. Be good. Yeah, you, come smell, on. you smell good. Marianne will be happy. Unfortunately, Champ isn't going to come all the way to Toronto with me and stay the week. Uh, I've got to drop him off with my brother, so... But he doesn't know that, so as far as he's concerned, we're getting to the van, we're going on an adventure. chickens here. I haven't actually seen them yet, but apparently the chickens and Champ have a special connection. I like to leave Champ here sometimes. My brother and his wife love having him here, and uh, he's just got so much space to run around and do silly Champ things. Let's check out the chickens though. It's a lot of roosters. Wild. I'd love to have chickens and, and goats one day. Goats too. Goats would be amazing. I never want to mow a lawn. Let's get goats instead. Alright, I'm gonna leave Champ here and hit the road and off to Toronto. as hell. I had to keep the uh, heat on because the engine's still doing that thing where it overheats. Although this is like the hottest day of the summer. So of course I'm moving somebody. I think it's probably close to about 36 degrees Celsius. Put that in perspective, the human body is 36, 37 degrees I think. So sweating is not doing me much good right now. I'm just, I'm just gonna pass out. I'm just gonna die of, of over of heat exhaustion. <sighs> anyway, I'm about an hour early, so I might set up my hammock and just lounge for a bit and relax. Just a heads up, I'm not actually naked, okay? I just can't wear a shirt right now because it's soaked. I cannot remember 
No, I can remember. Last time I was this hot was like four years ago. I was working in a kitchen and uh, through the summer and it got up to about like 38 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Celsius in that kitchen and I blacked out. I'm just like out. I feel my body's like dangerously close to that so I gotta chill out. So he's here now. I'm making a vlog. I'm I'm not happy. Simon moved all my stuff here and it's really, really hot and he's grumpy. <laughs> yeah, you do the vlogging thing. I'm too fucking tired for this. <laughs> Ashley just informed me she lives on the top, like what, three stories or four? Three. Three stories up. Hey, guess who's four foot nothing and can't carry anything? Yeah, carrying a mattress to the third floor <laughs> in like 40 degree heat. This is gonna fucking kick so much ass. <laughs> hey, I got Ashley's stuff into the house. Ashley sort of helped. A little bit, you know, but it's done. I'm not, I didn't film any of it because like, it was hard enough already. Sweating, sweating, screaming at the stupid furniture in like shorts and just, just covered in sweat. So we are showered now, cleaned up a little bit. Ashley says she's going to take me out for dollar tacos. Do you want tacos? We can go for other food. Well, like, There's what's like your suggestion? What do you want? Buy. You moved all of my shit. You can have whatever you want. Oh, sweetheart. Right? What do you want? Pizza? Tacos? Burritos? I had, I had a shameful personal oh. pizza to myself the other night, and then I also had pho quite a lot because I live in Ottawa, and pho is awesome. Yeah. I saw a Shwara place today, and I laughed, and I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Toronto's got so much food, though. Let's get something we can't get in Ottawa. Suggestions? Like everything? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's true, you can literally, like, no you matter what corner there. of the globe you're looking for, if you're looking for home food from that one island off of Fiji somewhere, whatever, they, yeah, Toronto's got it. Totally. Guaranteed. Like Toronto's 20 got restaurants. 20 restaurants. <laughs> they were, like, fierce competition. Fierce competition, probably. So we're going to go out. I don't know where we're going to go for food. We'll figure it out on the way. We're on the road. I forgot my mountain bike. Ashley's on her bike. I'm on my skateboard. But I'm mucho, mucho rapido. So I'm good. in all our infinite local wisdom has chosen General Electric for us to go. What do they serve at General Electric? It's called Grand Electric. Grand Electric. Grand Electric. Oh, it's Grand Electric. Not like the company. It's Grand Electric. We're going to Grand Electric. What do they serve? They serve tacos and Mexican food. Oh. I don't know. My friend works there. So we're going to We're going to eat tacos. I've heard good things. So that's Grand Electric. Tiny plates, overpriced food, worth every penny. I am stuffed. That was amazing. I'm, I'm gonna say, yeah, it was worth lugging your garbage all the way up from Ottawa. 
It was worth it. Woo, girl! These are still Canadian tacos, so... Oh, 100%. We just um, had good hipster tacos. We just agreed that Ashley is joining me in Baja, so that's going to be on the vlog now, so that she has to live up to that. She's just going to come to Baja and live in the van with me and a bunch of other van dwellers, and it's going to be freaking awesome. We're all going to smell together! We're all going to stink together! I'm actually... That's probably gonna be the first place I actually use the outdoor shower. Woo! So. I'm so down for outdoor showering. came to Toronto and nobody stole my motorcycle. Did you look at that? What a nice town. Okay, well that was fun. It's nice catching up with Ashley. I'm gonna head a little north. I have a wedding tomorrow. I can't look like this during the wedding, so it's about an hour and 45 minutes north of here. I'm gonna get a little bit of a head start tonight and then tomorrow I'll be able to work on whatever all of this is. Turn it into an actual wedding photographer look. Good shower. Thanks for having me on. There we go. Oh, super nice to catch up with Ashley again. Um, I didn't really include it in the vlog, but she moved away about a month ago. And, uh, yeah, she's like my, one of my closest friends, so it's been nice to really kind of like have all the conversations that have been we haven't been able to have for the last month. So, that was nice. Uh, I found a Walmart. I don't see any other RVs here. And there's a minimum three hour parking sign up. So I didn't park at that Walmart. Instead, um, there's a box store being built across the street. And there's a bunch of other transport trucks and stuff here. So I'm just gonna park here. And if I get kicked out, I get kicked out. But I think I'll probably be good. Anyway, good night everybody.